Rise and shine, Detective Reed. Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Now, weren't you the man giving orders back at the Carpenter Manor? <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure? You have an excellent memory, Reed. The name's Frank. Regardless, I'm here for you. Mr. Carpenter has put up your bail. That's generous of Mr. Carpenter, but tell me, how did he know I was here? The Carpenter family has a long and proud history of supporting the Oakmont Police Department. Let's just say they keep us in the loop. I must confess I'm, uh, pleasantly surprised. It seems helping Mr. Carpenter was a good choice after all. Well, you helped Mr. Carpenter, and now he returned the favor. The Carpenter family always pays its debts. I didn't kill anyone. Do you have any idea what's going on? Of course you didn't do it, Mr. Reed. The witness must be mistaken. No, seriously. I'm innocent. Okay, sir. Mr. Carpenter wishes to see you. I suggest you take up the matter with him yourself. Fine. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Carpenter. Mr. Reed, welcome. Things are busy right now, but I hope we may soon find the time to share a conversation and some wine. That's been a luxury lately. Wine or time. Regardless, I won't delay you further. I appreciate you bailing me out of jail. I was in a difficult situation. <laughs> a trifle, Charles. Though I understand you're not off the hook yet. Milton Pierce says he saw you killing Vanderberg. I didn't kill him. I believe you. From what I know of your character, even if you and Johannes had a falling out... I wouldn't have done that. Exactly. Reed, I trust you. But the police don't. If you can't find the real culprit, there's little more I can do. That being said, the Carpenter family still has its connections in the police department. 
Just let my taskmaster know when you have an alibi. Uh, how are you feeling after everything that happened with Brutus? Please, I'd rather not discuss it. But my father is upstairs, should you wish to see him. I get the feeling you knew Vanderberg. He was an old friend. A man of rare mental clarity. I met him in Europe during the Great War. He and you are among the few decent men in this city. I hope that I won't need to choose one friend over the other. You served during the Great War? Yes. One of the hapless grunts at Muse are gone. I'm afraid... I still find it hard to talk about. I understand. What do you know about Milton Pierce? He's quite a prominent voice in political circles, though he's not afraid to play ugly. I saw his interview with the Oakmont Chronicle recently. Do you know where I can find him? He's somewhere in Reed Heights, but sorry, beyond that I can't be of much help. Uh, thanks again, Mr. Carpenter. I should be off. Before you leave, here's a little problem solver for you. Should you run into any further difficulties, take care, Mr. Reed. I'll set aside some wine for when it's all over. Eagle and team.
Based on past experience, leaving it here was not the best idea. The smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors. <sighs> the door won't budge. This guy sure had some blood on his hands. Literally. Must be taking his election campaign very seriously. Someone got changed here in a hurry. They definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. Emptier than a banker's heart. Is he planning to become the Prince of Oakmont or is this just some light reading? Blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. Ah, where's my Dane tie? I should have been at City Hall by now. Voters will get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Time to figure this out. The, the, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting. Ah, where's... Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Milton Pierce came home covered in blood. He ordered his butler to take his clothes downstairs and went to meet voters at City Hall.
Stop bothering me, newcomer. Good day, Mr. Pierce. Bet you didn't expect to see me. How are you here? You should be in jail. I have good friends who bailed me out. I just want to talk. Well, okay. If you wish. Why did you claim I did it? Excuse me? Why wouldn't I? A friend of mine was killed. Why should I let that go? You saw the real killer. Tell me who it was. Want to know what I saw? I saw a bloody newcomer rush in, murder Johannes, and stroll out like it was no big deal. You're certain it was a newcomer? How can you be so sure? Trust me. Oak Manas know a newcomer when they see one. We locals can tell. You know I didn't do it. Quite the opposite, Reed. I saw your face. Or are you going to claim it wasn't yours? You seem like a rational man, Pierce. Can't we come to an arrangement? Are you attempting to bribe a politician, Mr. Reed? What makes you think I'd accept such an offer? I'm sorry. I must be thinking of a different Milton Pierce. But let me tell you, my beloved mother is so old and so rich. I'll miss her dearly when she's gone. Well, that's a non sequitur. Mr. Reed, how do I put this? I find my campaign hamstrung by a distinct lack of resources. Ah, <sighs> so it's about the money after all. I fear that all the budget pressures are affecting my cognition. If the situation were improved, perhaps I'd see things more clearly. For instance, I might suddenly realize I'd mistaken you for someone else. You could even remind me of whom. Well, if that's what it'll take, I guess I have no choice. Just make sure it looks natural and clean. You know the carpets there cost a fortune. Actually, take this. Comes well recommended from Professor Cavendish. Put it in a drink or something. Your wish is my command. Anything else? My dearest mother Agatha is currently at her manor. Here's the address. And Reed, don't come back here after. People shouldn't see me with you.
Are you Glenn Byers? Yes. Who are you? Charles Reed, P.I. The guy taking the fall for your murder. Okay. How did you find me? Are you serious? I'm a private eye. Now don't make this any worse for yourself and answer my questions. Why did you murder Johannes Vanderberg? I had no choice. I am an honest man, sir. I have a family. My, my sweet Evelyn and Michael, her... Our son. I didn't want to do it, but they had him hostage. I, I don't even know Johan or whatever he's called. You and I look rather similar, wouldn't you say? How is that possible? I... I don't know. Uh, this is the face I was born with. I'm just as confused as you are. Do you have any relatives in Boston? Not that I know of. Uh, my family is from Providence, Rhode Island. <sighs> just another of this town's oddities to add to the list. Do you know who's responsible? Uh, it was a, a gang. I I'd never seen any of them before. Uh, this guy gave me a gun. Uh, uh, Will? Maybe. Uh, but I, I don't know if he was anyone special. That's all I know. I swear. Tell me exactly how it all happened. Uh, they broke into our house while I was out. I, I came home and found the broken door. Uh, there were signs of a struggle, but my family... Poor Evelyn. They were gone. You never thought to report their abduction. Why not get help from the police? I wanted to call the coppers. I did, but they sent... They sent me... Oh, drunk, I can't. It's still on the table. I've no guts to touch it. I'll need to inspect the place where it happened. If you have to, it's next door. I locked it so no one can get in. And so I don't have to look at it again. Okay, let's say I believe you. You've done the deed, so where are your wife and son now? I don't know. The gang leader promised they'd be released, but they haven't returned. Please, I realize I'm in no position to ask, but can we make a deal? Depends on the offer. I am guilty. I took a life, but you have shouldered the blame. I will turn myself into the police and make this right. When I hand over the weapon, they will have to believe me, but I can't do it until I know my family is safe. Right. So I rescue your family to save my own skin. In a nutshell, yes. So what's your answer? All right, I'll do it. I don't like it, but I'll do it. Thank you. You're a better man than I, Mr. Reed. I'm sorry that I put you in this position, but I will make it right. I promise. There used to be some writing here, but it's been washed off, at least partially. Still has a wedding ring on. What kind of monster does that? There's a note in the envelope.
What am I to do now? Crepe, silk, and lace. Must have been a pretty dress before it was torn. This door will be hard to fix. Seems like everywhere I go lately, I find blood. Joy is really cute here. I wish I could hear her sing. Some of the boards look fresh. No dust. Some of the boards look fresh. No dust. Joy is really cute here. I wish I could hear her sing. Seems like everywhere I go lately, I find blood. Who in hell would think to use a spade as a weapon? Oh, wait a minute. Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expendable. Don't you dare touch my mom! <coughs> Open this door or I'll kick it down! I think I'm starting to get the picture. Open this door or I'll kick it down! Don't you dare touch my mom! Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expendable. A gang broke in and kidnapped a mother and son. The latter fought back, knocking an attacker through the floor. And the rest of the assailants left with the hostages. How do I get into the room beneath us? Why? The kitchen? Uh, it's locked. One of Evelyn's attackers fell through a hole in the floor. Now maybe I'll find something useful if I look around. Wow. How do you know all that? <laughs> you detective types sure are clever. It would explain the broken boards. Uh, I'll get you the key, and uh, sorry for the mess. I'll get going. Someone must have had a hard fall here. Glad I'm not him. That's a rare spirit. They're lucky to have a bottle from before Prohibition.
Let's see what he's got in here.